So in this video, I'll be explaining these exercises. Um, so I'm sure the new version will work well. Uh -huh. So pause the video and try to answer these. Uh -huh. So will work well because like it's, um, you know, there's no doubt. Mm. Have gone out last night. I was exhausted. I couldn't have gone out last night. Yeah, like no pude haber salido last night. Yeah, I was just too tired. It's highly unlikely for flying cars to appear, or it's highly unlikely that flying cars will appear. Uh huh. It's highly unlikely that. Yeah. It's highly unlikely that she will pass the exam. It's highly unlikely that it will rain. Yeah. Um. We don't really use likely for somebody to do something. It doesn't really make sense. Okay. There no such thing as paper money in 50 years. Yeah. There may be igual. Yeah. Igual es posible que no haya tal cosa como billetes en el futuro. ¿no? Sorry. Did you tell me? I must have forgotten. Yeah. It's like, well, logically, I forgot. I must have forgotten. Yeah. This will be a good opportunity. And it should take you places. It must take you places. It has got to. It should take you places. Yeah, like, teóricamente, yeah, debería, supuestamente, llevarte a, a buenos lugares. Okay? So. Please pause the video and try to answer this exercise. Okay, so let's work through it together. Interest me most is how stress affects relationships yeah what interests me most yeah lo que más me interesa es bla bla it was my youngest daughter who was the most affected yeah uh -huh. it was my youngest daughter who was quien fue la más afectada so um what goodbye was goodbye okay what something was that simon started spending less time at home what happened was, lo que pasó fue, yeah, happened, I'm not sure if this is going to fit, actually. No, it won't. Uh -huh. So what happened was, lo que pasó fue, blah, 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 lo que sucedió fue, something is Sue who needs to rethink her priorities. It is Sue, yeah, es Sue a quien le toca repensar sus prioridades, no yo. Uh, so it, uh, goodbye. Something that I'm asking for is a bit, uh -huh. all that I'm asking for, yeah, all, lo único, yeah, todo lo que quiero es, yeah, all, yeah, like all I want for Christmas is you, yeah, you could also say all that I want for Christmas. It was not until, no fue hasta aquí, yeah, it was not until, uh huh, all right, um, yeah, no fue hasta aquí, blah, blah. It was not until I had the information that I called you, yeah, no fue hasta aquí, tuviera la información que te llamara, que te llamé, sorry. Um, what I did was to, yeah, um, yeah. So what I did was to blah blah. Uh -huh. What I did was to fix the car. Yeah. What she did was to complain to the headmaster. Okay. It was only when I left home that I appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Fue hasta aquí. Yeah. Uh -huh. Únicamente ya fuera de mi casa empecé a apreciar a mis papás. Yeah. For example, it was only when I realized the value of money that I started to control my spending or something like that. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Uh, Sue, uh, Sue is so hot hearted. Uh, uh, yeah, um, the correct sentence there is so hot headed, the correct compound adjective, uh, hot headed. Okay. Um, Cutting wood all day was really spine breaking. Now, spine is la, colum la, la columna vertebral, but spine breaking doesn't make sense. It's back breaking. Back breaking work. Uh -huh. um, write it down for me because I'm getting rather absence minded. No, not absence, absent minded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like you forget things. It's mind wobbling. No, no, it's mind boggling. Uh huh. Mind. Mm -hmm boggling yeah like whoa it, it blows my mind it's crazy the comedy is light-headed no the comedy is light hearted yeah like not serious mm -hmm. to leave all those years was heart cracking no it was heart breaking yeah 
So heartbreaking, like really, really sad. Okay. So please pause the video and try this exercise right here. And let's have a look at the answer. So we have to replace the word in italics with the noun forms of the word. So anxiety uh -huh, would be anxious with the noun form of a word in the box. So anxiety, anxious, or mm, So I think it would be it was great nervousness. Yeah, I had, so nervous in in the noun form would be nervousness. Yeah. Um, so anxiety would be uh, anxious comes from anxiety and nervous nervousness. OK. Um, it was great nervousness amongst the crowd as they there was great nervousness amongst the crowd as they waited to find out the result. OK. What will be the next new thing in mobile technology so innovate that would be the next innovation innovation okay there is no excuse for uh, being impolite for rude so rudeness yeah there's no excuse for rudeness so um here we have we are proud to announce our teamwork so then we have collaborate so that'd be collaboration yeah uh -huh. i'll write down here collaboration yeah like working together Okay, um, you can look to the future with some positive feelings. So here we have optimistic, that would be optimism. Yeah, okay. Um, only thinking about yourself. Yeah, so we've got the word selfish, like egoista. Yeah, and selfishness. Yeah, egoismo. Yeah, selfish, selfishness. Okay. The freeing of Paris. Uh -huh. So liberate, liberation, liberate, so like liberar, uh -huh. and liberation, liberación. Okay, good. Right. Um, let's move on then. So here we've got some words um, which uh, might help us to improve our vocabulary. So pause the video now and try the exercise. So um, she's very certain of her own abilities. So I would say that would be self-confident. Yeah. Uh -huh. So like, no tiene dudas de sus capacidades. Sabe que es muy capaz. Yeah. So she's self-confident. Okay. Yoga is good for your health. And it also makes you more able to notice your thoughts and feelings. That would be self-aware, like autoconsciente. Like, I know how I feel. I, I'm aware of my thoughts. I'm aware of my thinking. OK, um, so uh, he doesn't care about anyone else. I've never met anyone who's so interested only in his own needs. Yeah, so that would be self-centered. Yeah, self-ego-centered centrista. Yeah, so ego-centrista. OK, she's so pleased with herself that it never occurs to her that other people don't like her. Yeah, she's so self-satisfied. Yeah, she's like pleased with herself, like happy with the way she is. Like, she doesn't really care. She doesn't really care um, what other people think. She gave up her job so her husband could pursue a career in politics. Why is she also always so ready to give up things for other people? Yeah, so that would be self sacrificing. Yeah, like when we say in Mexico, no? uh, se quitan el taco de la boca para darte. No? So, yeah. Um, we started growing our own vegetables, although I doubt we'll ever be able to look after our own needs. We'll ever be self-sufficient. Self-sufficient, autosuficiente, cuando no dependes de nadie más. ¿No? For example, uh -huh. como, crezco mi, como cultivo mi propia comida, mis propios vegetales, pues no necesito de, de nadie más. O sea, no, no voy al super, ¿no? for example. Okay. Well, at least partially. ¿no? Um, so complete uh, this with uh, the examples from 3A. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this down so we can we can see them as we do the exercise. OK, so let's see if we can see the whole thing all on one screen. Yes, we can. Um, OK, so uh, again, pause the video now and try this exercise. So I've always thought of myself as a pretty successful person. I'm something, for example, I don't get nervous. I don't get nervous. I'm self-confident. Okay. Uh-huh. 
if I have to give a presentation at work. I'm also something, I earn enough money to pay my bills. I'm self-sufficient, yeah? No dependo de nadie más, okay? I'm self-sufficient. Um, pay the bills and things I want. But then I went with a friend to a self-help course and I realized that maybe I was wrong to be so pleased with myself. I was so concerned with my own life that I hadn't stopped to think about anyone else's. Yeah? Nunca me había detenido a pensar en, en vidas ajenas. Maybe I was actually just self-centered. Yeah. Um, so like I was at the, uh, but that could also be self-satisfied. So we'll come back to that one. That could be self-satisfied or self-centered. Uh, so we'll come back in, in a moment when maybe one of these has been used up in another part of the exercise. Um, maybe I was just self-centered um, or self-satisfied. What if other people saw uh, me as someone just too pleased? Yeah, so that's um, self-satisfied. So yeah, good. So that's self-satisfied uh -huh, in number four and uh, self-centered would be number three. Okay, so I've only got two more to go. Um, I immediately decided, uh -huh, it, this was such a horrible thought. I immediately decided to be more something and give up some of my time. Yeah to others, so give up, like, sacrificar, uh, regalar un poco de mi tiempo, so it's self-sacrificing, um, my time to help others, and now I volunteer in a homeless shelter, ¿no? como un albergue para gente sin casa. Um, this does make me feel quite good about myself, though, yeah, mm, so, like, it's like, you know, you feel good about it, so maybe I haven't really changed, o sea, a lo mejor lo hago para andarlo divulgando y no para realmente ayudar. Well, at least I've started thinking about this. Al menos lo estoy pensando. So hopefully I've become a bit more self-aware. Okay, un poco más autoconsciente. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Well, uh, as always, guys, I hope this video was useful.